those who are in the service this afternoon. We are going to bring the word of God. And I believe that this is the word that the Lord has for us for this very day. On Sunday we had a powerful time to have our lives delivered from every limitation. And today we want to know how to move forward. Because we cannot continue to be delivered every day. After deliverance, we expect to move forward. And therefore, the message today is about faith for miracles. Because after you fight the battles, we need to move forward. And we cannot move forward if we do not know what we need to have. And therefore, as we go through faith for miracles, I believe that the visible signs and manifestations will continue to be manifested in our lives. Therefore, give us Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. Faith for miracles. When we talk about visible signs and visible manifestations, there is a part of the spiritual warfare. We have done that for the last few Sundays. But we also need to focus on what Jesus did on the cross. We need to magnify the power of the cross. We need to exalt what Jesus can do. Because that has a place in itself. And the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for. I want you to underline the word substance. And the evidence of things not seen. Underline the word evidence. Brethren, we are believers. And when we are believers, many times we find ourselves walking with unbelief. We say, I have faith. But when situations present themselves before us, we are unable to handle the situation. And this afternoon, the Lord is calling us to the platform of exercising our faith. In a simple word, I would say faith is a component of three things. Number one, believe. What you believe. What you believe. And number two, action. When you believe in something, then you have to do something. And number three is what I call confidence. When those three things are missing out, then there is no faith. Some of us, you find you have the belief, but action is missing. And when the action is missing, then it remains a belief. And this afternoon, the Lord is calling us a tattoo chapel to arise to the place of faith to arise to the place we can action we were delivered on Sunday we have continued to believe but God wants us to rise on our feet and 
yetu na kufanye matendo kuelekea haya mambo na kuweka imani yetu katika matendo jina la bwana libarikiwe blessed be the name of jesus jina la bwana libarikiwe remember kumbuka god provides a measure of faith for every miracle mungu anapeana kipimo cha imani kwa kila muujiza throughout the life of jesus maisha yote ya yesu we see the miracles that jesus did tunaona miujiza yesu aliyotenda and our dad took us through that na baba yetu alituelekeza kwa hiyo number of miracles that jesus did hesabu ya miujiza yesu aliyotenda but one thing i want you to know lakini jambo moja nataka ujue when you go to the bible ukiingia kwenye biblia and read the miracles cause Jesus did na usome miujiza Yesu aliyotenda you will see there was a measure of faith utakuta kuna kipimo cha imani every single miracle Jesus did kwa kila muujiza Yesu aliyotenda and that is what god is calling us this afternoon na hiyo ndio Yesu anatuitia we rise up to a measure of faith tuinuke kwa kiwango fulani cha imani that demands the miracle that we expect from him ambayo inadai miujiza tunayotaka the measure of faith that we have kiwango cha imani tulichonacho determine the kind of a miracle we are going to receive kitaamua uzito wa muujiza tutakaopokea and i want us to see that in the book of mark chapter 6 and nataka tuangalie hiyo kitabu cha marko mlango wa 6 you will see utaona the village where jesus came from akijiji yesu alikotokea mark chapter 6 and verse 1 marko mlango wa 6 aya ya kwanza hadi 6 The Bible says Biblia nasema Then he went out from there and came to his own country Akatoka huko akafika mpaka inchi ya kwao And his disciples followed him Wanafunzi wake wakamfuata We are talking about Jesus Tunaongea kuhusu Yesu Verse two says Biblia nasema And when the Sabbath had come na ilipokuwa sabato he began to teach in the synagogue alianza kufunza katika sinagogi and many hearing were astonished wengi waliposikia wakashangaa saying wakisema where did this man get these things huyu ameyapata wapi haya and what wisdom is this which is given to him na ni hekima gani hii inayo ameyopewa huyu such mighty works are performed by his hands na ni nini miujiza hii mikubwa yatendeka kwa mikono yake tatu inasema is this not the carpenter the son of mary huyu si yule seremala mwana wa mariamu the brother of james joseph judas and simon na ndugu yao yakobo yose na yuda na simoni and are not his sisters here with us na maumbu yake hawapo hapa petu so they were offended at him wakajikwa kwake bas but jesus said to them yesu akawaambia a prophet is not without honor except in his own country nabii hakosi heshima isipokuwa katika nchi yake mwenyewe his own relatives and his own house na kwa jamaa zake na nyumba mwake now he could no he could do no mighty work there wala hakuweza kufanya miujiza kwa wote huko except that he lay his hands on a few sick people and healed them isipokuwa aliweka mikono yake juu ya wagonjwa wachache wakaponywa i want you to mark that verse verse 5 nataka uweke mstari alama ya 5 verse 6 sita inasema now he, verse 6 please and he marveled because of their unbelief akastaajabu kwa sababu ya kutoamini kwao he went about the villages in a circle teaching akazunguka zunguka vile vijiji akifundisha i'm sure we are very familiar with this story of jesus nina hakika tuna habari tumekutana nayo kuhusu hii historia the village where jesus came from kijiji yesu alikotokea it is a village i have been there myself ni kijiji ambacho nanuia kwenda mwenyewe not in the vision but physically eh sio kwa maono kwa asili and i and the bible is telling us na Biblia inasema when Jesus went to his own village country na, ya kwamba Yesu alipoenda kwa nchi yake mwenyewe the people were astonished at the things that he was doing watu walishangazwa na mambo ambayo alikuwa anafanya and they were wondering what kind of things is he doing na walikuwa wanashangaa ni mambo gani haya anafanya and actually the bible says they were offended by the things that he did na Biblia inasema ya kwamba walikwazwa kwa mambo ambayo Yesu alikuwa anafanya yet the same things are the things he did in other villages na unakuta kwamba mambo yale alikuwa anafanya ndio yale yale alikuwa anafanya kwa vijiji vingine. Because they had faith. 
na kwa sababu walikuwa na imani they had belief walikuwa na kuamini they had action walikuwa na matendo and they had confidence na walikuwa na ujasiri miracles were born in their villages miujiza ilizalika katika vijiji vyao but for this countryside where jesus came from lakini katika nchi hii ambapo yesu alikuwa ametokea they only had belief walikuwa tu na hali ya kuamini and therefore the bible says na hivyo biblia inasema in verse 5 aya ya 5 the verse 5 the bible says aya ya 5 biblia inasema now it could do no mighty work there wala hakuweza kufanya miujiza wowote pale except that he laid his hands on a few sick and healed them isipokuwa aliweka mikono yake juu ya wagonjwa wachache akawaponya sometimes we can get familiar with the power of god wakati mwingine tunaweza kuwa na mazoea kwa nguvu za mungu even we can become familiar with god na tunaweza kumzoea mungu and we say i'm going to church na tuseme ya kwamba naenda kanisani i believe in god ninaamini mungu I trust God. I'm waiting on God. But deep within us we are denying the power of God. Lakini kilindini mimi mioyo yetu tunakaa na nguvu za Mungu. And we are emphasizing on the problem rather than the power of God. Na tunasisitiza kuhusu shida kuliko kusisitiza nguvu za Mungu. And I believe na ninaamini in this days katika kihe God want the church to go back to the power of the cross. Mungu anataka kanisa lirejelee mahali pa nguvu za msalaba. Where we know Jesus died and resurrected. Mahali ambapo tunatambua Yesu alikufa na akafufuka. So that we can receive our victory. Ili tuweze kupokea ushindi wetu. So that we can receive our healing. Ili tuweze kupokea upokeaji. So that we can receive our breakthrough. Ili tupokee upenyo wetu. So that we can experience open doors. Ili tuweze kuwa na milango iliyo wazi. I want to tell us this afternoon. Nataka kusema kwetu alasiri ya leo. Our father is calling us to arise in the platform of faith. Baba yetu anatuita kuinuka kwa viwango vya imani. Try new things. Na tujaribu mambo mapya. And trust in the power of God. Na tuamini nguvu za Mungu. And believe it is only God who can do it. Na tuamini kwamba ni Mungu pekee anaweza kutenda. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Why is it that people are believing when when people are using the power of darkness kwa nini watu waamini tu wakati nguvu za giza zinatumika we need to see the miracles through the blood of jesus tunahitaji kuona miujiza kupitia kwa damu ya kristo and know that there is no witch who is more powerful than our god na tuelewe ya kwamba hakuna mganga mchawi aliye na nguvu zaidi ya yesu there is no power above the power of the god we serve hakuna nguvu zaidi ya nguvu za mungu tunayetumikia and therefore this afternoon na kwa hivyo alasiri ya leo i want you to know ninapenda ujue there is a measure of faith ya kwamba kuna kipimo cha imani for every miracle that kwa has to happen kila muujiza ambao lazima utendeke i want utendeke. you to activate that faith na ninataka kuchochea imani hiyo you know the hiyo. miracle that you are expecting unajua from unajua muujiza unaotarajia actually hata hivyo when i read this story niliposoma habari hii i i, I was confused nilichanganyikiwa kiasi why is it that jesus did not do many miracles in his home side ilikuwaje yesu akufanya miujiza kwa wingi mahali ambapo ametoka and then i asked myself na kisha nikajiuliza does it mean the level of faith determines the kind of miracles that will happen je inamaanisha kiwango cha imani ndicho huamua kipimo cha muujiza utakaopokea the lower the faith you have uchache imani uliyonayo the, the lesser the miracles you will have in your life upungufu wa miujiza utakavyokuwa nayo katika maisha yako it is very evident with this scripture inaonekana waziwazi wazi kwa maandiko haya and that is why na ndio sababu when you look at jesus ukimtazama yesu every miracle he will do kila muujiza atakaofanya the bible says biblia inasema and when he saw the faith na alipoona imani when he saw the faith alipoona imani he was provoked to do alichoko wa kufanya Blessed be the name of Jesus. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Remember that woman who had the issue of the blood. Kumbuka mwanamke aliyekuwa na vuja damu. She even never wanted to see Jesus by face. Hata hakutaka kumwona Yesu kwa macho. She was not even expecting Jesus to lay hands on her. Hakutarajia Yesu amwekee mikono. But she had such a revelation of what faith means. Lakini alikuwa na ufunuo ya kile imani inamaanisha. She knew if only I touch the aim of his garment. Na alijua tu kama tu ataguza pinde la vazi. And she knew 
that she will be old. Do we have somebody in this service who is so desperate saying so long as I get into the entrance of that church compound I know the Lord is going to do it for me. So long as I am in the house of the Lord I know my miracle is going to be actualized. So long as the word of God is going to be preached today I know my miracle is going to come. That is what God is looking for in this service. It is not about the laying of hands. I believe in the laying of hands. But church God wants us to raise our faith to a place where we can receive without being laid hands. We just need to be in the presence of the Lord. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. My point number one today, you cannot have a miracle without faith. You cannot have a miracle without pain. Because faith opens the doors for miracles. So when we are talking about visible signs and manifestations, if your cup of faith is not full, you will continue singing this song. That is why this message is very important. After we have dealt with the limitations after we have dealt with the devil, we need to know where is the power. And today I present the power to you. And the power is on the cross of Jesus. Because Jesus rose from the dead. And he said it is finished. And today I bring the word of praise. You just need to believe. There is nothing to him possible Blessed be the name of Jesus. There is no visible sign and visible manifestation without faith. The door to our miracles. The notable miracles we talked about. It is faith. It is faith. If we are together, say amen. Amen. If we are together, say amen. 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 My point number two. Faith is the key that unlocks the treasure of God's unlimited resources. Our Father has everything that we need. And he has given us the promises of the things that we are assured. But without the key to open and receive what is yours, you will sing about the promises. You will wait upon the Lord. And there shall not be an evidence of anything. But when you have faith, you have the key to open the treasure of the resources in the kingdom of God. Let me see by show of hands how many want to access the resources in the kingdom of God. Faith is going to be very key. It is by faith that we open those resources. We read in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. Faith is a substance. And substance, I would say, is the confidence that is so sure. Something exists. You are so confident that thing exists. That is what the word substance means. It is not something that you are just assuming. It is there. You are assured it is there. 
ni kitu ambacho una uhakika kipo na napenda kuhakikishia mtu leo the healing you are believing god i want to assure you unayo waamini mungu the tells you healing is there imani na kuambia uponyaji upo the money you are believing faith tells me it is there pesa unazo tarajia imani inaniambia iko the door you are waiting for milango wazi unaongojea faith tells me it is there imani inaniambia kwamba zipo you need to have the confidence it is there unahitaji kuwa na ujasiri kwamba ipo and then the evidence alafu ile uhakika it is the fact that we can't see ni jambo ya kwamba hatuwezi kuiona hata kama hatuwezi kuona it does not mean it is not there haimaanishi kwamba haipo it is there in the spiritual realm ipo katika ulimwengu wa rohoni and faith is what brings it to the physical manifestation na imani ndio udhihirisha katika ulimwengu unaoonekana it is faith that will make it to be visible ni imani itakayosababisha jambo hilo liwe wazi it is faith that is going to make it to manifest ni imani itakayosababisha itoke Church we have to build our faith. Kanisa lazima tujenge imani yetu. We are not going to receive those signs and manifestations without this key. Hatutapokea ishara hizi na vitu ambavyo vinaonekana bila funguo hii. Amen. Amen. Number what? Number 3. Number 3. Alama ya tatu. Faith is knowing that whatever you are hoping for already exists. Imani ni kusema kwamba chochote unachotarajia kipo. Having confidence in the word of God. Kuwa na ujasiri kwa neno la Mungu. Many times I preach here about the power of the word of God. Wakati mwingi nimehudumu hapa kuhusu nguvu katika neno la Mungu. And church tatu chapo I feel God is calling us to have confidence in his word. Na kanisa la tatu chapo nahisi Mungu anatuita kuwa na ujasiri katika neno lake. Let us run, learn to hear the word of God. Tupendezwe na kusikiza neno la Mungu. The Bible says Biblia inasema Faith comes by hearing and hearing. Imani huja kwa kusikia na kusikia. Tell you neighbor hearing and hearing mwambie jirani yako kusikia na kusikia and i want you to notice there is a difference between reading and hearing na napenda uelewe kuna tofauti kati ya kusoma na kusikia when you are alone you read the word of god ukiwa peke yako unasoma neno la mungu but when you come to church you hear the word of god lakini ukija kanisani unasikia neno la mungu and if you want to hear it alone you must shout as you read na unapotaka kulisikia ukiwa peke yako lazima upaze sauti unaposoma so it means if we don't hear the word of god faith is not going to come na hii inamaanisha kwamba kama hatutasikia neno la Mungu imani haitakuja. So the many times you are in a place you are hearing the word of God. Na kwa hivyo mara nyingi unapojipata mahali unasikia neno la Mungu. Saidi imani yako inakuwa kwa viwango. And that is why the devil will look for an opportunity to get you out of a place you are hearing. Na ndio maana shetani atatafuta nafasi ya kukungoa mahali ambapo unasikia neno la Mungu. He will convince you to stay in the house and read the word. Atakushawishi uketi kwa nyumba usome neno. But the Bible is not saying when you read and read the word of god Lakini you will have haisemi ya kwamba unaposoma na kusoma utasikia na imani there is a place of hearing the kuna word kuna sehemu ya kusikia neno when we do this hearing the word hearing the word remind your neighbor hearing the word kumbusha jirani yako hearing the word remind them again hearing the word hearing the word when we hear it is different than when we read tukisikia ni tofauti na tunaposoma na walio walimu wanaelewa tofauti na ukiwa wewe si mwalimu una guguu nenda ukaguguu so when you don't hear the word of god you will have <laughs> you will have a deficiency of faith na kwa hivyo unapokosa kusikia neno la Mungu utakuwa na ile hali upungufu wa kuwa na imani amen, amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. We need to have confidence in the word of God. kuwa na ujasiri kwa neno la Mungu. Hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God. Kusikia na kusikia na kusikia neno la Mungu. Shut yourself in the house. Jifungie kwa nyumba. Read the word loudly. Soma neno kwa sauti. So that you can hear it. Ili uweze kusikia. Shout the word in your house. Pata sauti ukisoma so neno. So that you can hear it. Ili nafsi yako isikie. Because the more you hear it. Kwa sababu zaidi unasikia. The more your faith grows. Zaidi imani yako inakuwa. The more you hear it. Zaidi unasikia. The more your faith rises. Zaidi imani yako inainuka. The more your faith rises. Zaidi imani yako inainuka. The more the miracles you 
Zaidi miujiza utapokea. Zaidi kupenyeza utapokea. If we are together say amen. Kama tuko pamoja sema amina. If we are together can you say amen? Kama tuko pamoja sema amina. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor from today I will be hearing the word of God. From today I will be hearing the word of God. And that is why actually in church you will always find when people are doing everything else everybody is awake but the scheme of the enemy is to make you to don't so that you don't hear the word of God because when you lose the word your faith is diminished and when it is diminished you have no experience you have no visitation. You have no miracle. And you start saying, I wokovu ni ambure. Na utaanza kusema, wokovu huu ni bure. Actually, it is through signs, miracles, and wonders that people come to the kingdom of God. Ni kupitia ishara, miujiza, watu wanakuja kwa nyumba ya mungu. And that is why those who compromise the gospel. Na ndiyo mana wale ambao wanachanganya njili. When they knew that people are after the miracles. Walipojua ya kwamba watu wanatafta miujiza. They have to do anything to do the miracles. Wangefanya lolote ili kuwe na miujiza. But for us as the church. Lakini kwetu kama kanisa. We are going to build our faith. Tutajenga imani yetu. We are going to build our Faith. The Bible says in Matthew, Biblina sema Matthew, and these signs shall follow them. If it was not to follow the preachers, if it was to follow you as a believer, you don't need the pastor to pray for you. You don't need the ushers to pray for you. You don't need the elders to pray for you. You can pray for yourself because of as long as your faith is growing, the Bible says and these signs shall follow them. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I want to hear testimonies. Pastor, I woke up and I was very sick and I knelt down and prayed for myself and I became whole. It is a sign our faith is growing as a church. There is a place for pastors to pray for you. But a normal believer should be able to be followed by signs and wonders. And some of those signs the Bible says is casting of demons. Some of us when we hear demons scream, do I know some of you the way you were on Sunday when they were screaming? Some of us we don't want even to come near. Hata tutai kukaribia. Elder Beth. Elder Beth. Hizo mapepo unatoa. Unasimua. Hata ukigongwa msunuti moja. Unasimama hapo, unakamata, unakemea. Amen. Sio kuangalia sisi tuko upande gani, tukuja tukemea. Yes. Amen. Amen. We need to build our faith. Tunahitaji kujenga imani yetu. We need to build our faith to the next level. Tunahitaji kujenga imani yetu kiwango kingine. Give us Romans 10 and verse 17. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It is not by reading and reading. Reading is good. It helps us in understanding the word. But the hearing is what brings faith. It builds the confidence in the word. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Number five. Alama ya tano. True faith does not deny the physical truth. Imani ya kweli haipingani na uhakika ama ukweli katika asili. True faith does not deny the physical truth. Na ukweli wa asili. What do I mean by this? You may be sick. That is the physical truth. Faith does not tell you you are not sick. Faith comes to tell you in the spiritual realm I can see my healing and even though I am 
am sick. I have confidence in the word. By the stripes of Jesus. I am healed. And this disease. Will bow to the name of Jesus. That is what faith does. It takes you to the spiritual realm to see what is not manifested in the physical. And when you see it in the spiritual, you call it to the manifestation. You call it to the reality. In the name of Jesus, I want to declare our spiritual eyes. They shall be opened so that we can start seeing things in the spiritual. Because until you see it in the spiritual, you will never see it in the physical. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It does not deny. The physical truth. What if it does? It, 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 it only denies the physical dominating. The spiritual. So that it remains that the spiritual is dominating the physical. Then you can say like Shadrach and Misha. Even though the Lord will not deliver me, I will not leave him. I will not forsake him. Even though it doesn't work, I will not give up. I will not quit. Because in the spiritual I know my God is a powerful God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because some things you asked, where was God? He still has the power to deliver. But he chooses not to do it. But the Bible says, what shall separate me from the love of God? What is it that is going to separate me? Maybe God wants to see your love for him. He wants to see your commitment. He wants to see your sacrifice. He wants to see your faith and your trust in him. Job said, I came to you. I came, I came to this earth without nothing. And I will go without How many are saying, God help my faith. That I will not just be saying I have faith. Help me to understand. I, I, I don't have the words to explain to us what I mean this. Amen. 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 To come to that place. You know, somebody mentioned something this week and it blessed my heart. She said, alisema, many times we love saying the grace is sufficient. Mara nyingi ya ya kwamba neema and when we say the grace is sufficient, na neema it means we live with the problem. Ya kwamba na hiyo shida. So it means it is something that has to remain with you the rest of your life. Na hiyo ni ya kwamba so when you, you tell somebody the grace is sufficient, na kwa hivyo mtu neema you are telling them live with that forever. Unamwambia wewe basi pambana na hali yako. Uh -huh. Imagine. Eh. Live with it permanently. Maybe it can fit like when you tell if somebody has lost a loved one because that person cannot come back to life. Na that is, you can tell that person the grace is sufficient. Pengine inaweza kuwa bora wakati mtu pengine ameachwa na mpendwa wake, huyo unaweza kumwambia kwa sababu yule hawezi kurudi, unamwambia neema inatosha. But when they are sick and you are telling them the grace is sufficient, you are telling them. Lakini mtu mgonjwa unamwambia neema inatosha. Live with that sickness. Unamwambia pambana na hali yako kwa neema. Kama neema inatosha, pambana na hali. Imagine. Aha. Uh -huh. How many times do we say that? The grace is sufficient. Even, even if I was to check on your SMSs, I'm sure this week you have used the grace is sufficient. And we, and we say it with the swag. Neema, it has been sufficient. 
God desires Mungu wetu anatamani to raise us to that platform of faith kutuinua atupandishe maeneo ya imani so that we can be able ili tuweze to experience the divine kupitia ile hali ya kuona to experience the extraordinary kupitia ile hali ya kuona zaidi ya sisi in the mighty name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu give us second kings chapter 6 wa falme wa pili mlango wa 6 and verse 16 aya yake ya 16 and 17 na 17 Second Kings wa falme wa chapter 6 verse 16 and 17 wa falme wa pili 6 uh, 16 and 17 16 na 17 So he answered Akajibu Do not fear for those who are with us are more than those uh, those who are with them Usiogope maana walio pamoja nasi ni wengi kuliko wale walio pamoja na wao. And Elisha prayed. Elisha akaomba. And said, akasema, Lord I pray. E Bwana nakusihi. Open his eyes that he may see. Mfumbue macho yake apate kuona. That the Lord open the eyes of the young man. Bwana akamfumbua macho yule mtumishi. And he saw and behold. Naye akaona tazama. The mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire around Elisha. Kile kilima kilikuwa kimeja farasi na magari ya moto. You can go and read the background story. Unaweza kusoma historia pale mwanzo. It's about Elisha. Ni kuhusu Elisha. And when they were surrounded by the wakati walikuwa wamesumbukwa na Wafilisti na Wasiria and the, and, 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 and the servant told Elisha na mtumishi akamwambia Elisha we are all surrounded sote tumezungukwa because the Assyrians had noted kwa sababu wa shami walikuwa wamegundua every time they wanted to attack kila wakati walipotaka kushambulia the servant of the Lord would warn the children of Israel mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa na waarifu wa Israeli and therefore they knew na kwa hivyo walijua the person they want to capture is Elisha yule mtu alitaka kukamata Elisha and when they capture him walipo mshika Israel is going to be defeated wataka pomshika Israeli watashika hivyo wakamzunguka Elisha and the servant of Elisha na mtumishi wa Elia he told him akamwambia we are surrounded ya kwamba tumezunguka na majeshi they have more than us wana majeshi zaidi ya sisi tutashindwa mara hii but Elisha told this lakini Elisha akamwambia mtumishi wake may your spiritual eyes be open macho yako yafumbuliwe to see we are surrounded uone ya kwamba tumezungukwa na greater army than the one you can defeat physically kubwa zaidi ya kile ambacho unaona sisi kanisa nimekuja kukwambia nikwambie kwa jina la Yesu the power you cannot see kubwa ambacho unaweza kuona than the power you can see zaidi ya zile unaweza kuona the miracles that you can't see now mchiza ambayo wewe una sasa even in the spiritual realm sipitwa katika ulimwengu wa sasa you just need to pick up your key of faith kuchukua fungua ya imani ni zaidi ya kile unaweza kuona na Mungu anatamani imani yako ipande kiwango kingine so ili kwamba uweze kufungua mtindo huo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo nataka uinue mkono wako useme Lord open my spiritual eyes Lord open my spiritual eyes Again, Lord open my spiritual eyes Lord open my spiritual eyes so that i can see what you have for me so that i can see what you have for me and my faith to rise to that level and my faith to rise to that level the bible says in, in hebrews 11 i think 6 It is impossible to please God without faith. Waibrania 11 aya 6 ni vigumu kumpendeza Mungu pasipo imani. Faith. Imani. Faith. Imani. Faith. Imani. And as we close. Na tunapofungasha. As we close. Tunapofunganya. I want you to know there are four things that faith does. Napenda ujue yapo mambo manne ambayo imani hufanya. I know there are many but I will choose four because of time. Najua kuna mengi imani inaweza kufanya lakini nimechagua manne kwa leo. Number one. Jambo la kwanza. Faith erases doubt of the and of the notion things are doomed to fail. Imani hufutilia mbali misemo ya kwamba haiwezekani na yale mambo imani inafungua. Amen. Amen. Don't we hear people say ile ugonjwa yangu? Hatujasikia watu wakisema hivi yo jamani. Si unajua kwetu. Aha. 
si unajua mimi mm. si you know mm. we are always identifying ourselves with some negative things kila wakati tunajitambulisha na mambo ya kinyume and faith lakini imani erases those negative things inafutilia mbali hayo mambo ya negative notions hayo misemo ya kinyume what they say about you kile wanasema kuhusu what you say about yourself kile ambacho unajisemea what you say about your business kile unasemea what you say about your marriage kile unasemea what you say about your future kile unasemea what you say about your children kile unasemea watoto wako faith erases those negative notions imani hufutilia mbali hiyo misemo ya kinyume ask your friend uliza rafiki yako ambaye ameketi karibu nawe what do you say about yourself wewe husema nini kujihusu je and what do they say about you wanasemaje kukuhusu je you know people are very good in identifying you with the things around you Watu they don't want to identify you with yourself wanajua kukutambulisha na yaliyo kuzunguka yule mama wa makaa na wewe uh-huh. hata uitu wa makaa mababa kwa itu makaa wanakuwa identify with yule mama wa makaa wanakuitanisha na vitu tu karibu na wewe yule mama wa boga mm, yule mama wewe sio wa boga uh-huh. you are only selling boga to get money wewe unauzanga mboga kupata pesa na ukishakuwa tajiri it is very hard for them to identify you with your tajiri uh-huh. yule mama tajiri hawasemaji yule mama sonko They like identifying you with the negative things. Eh, wanapenda kukutambulisha na vitu vya kinyume. Uria mutumia muiro. Mutumia uria muiro. Chi. Wadura mumenya uria. Ule mweusi, ule mweusi. People want to identify you with the negative things. Watu wanataka kukutambulisha na kukushikanisha na vitu vya kinyume. But faith erases all those negative Lakin notions. Imani inafutilia mbali misemo ya kinyume. I want you to say I am blessed of the Lord. I am blessed of the I Lord. I am highly favored. I am highly favored. And our visible manifestations and signs must manifest in our life. Na ishara na miujiza lazima itokelezee kwa maisha yetu. Two, Jambo la pili. Faith gives purpose and direction in life. Imani hupatiana hutupatia malengo na makusudi katika maisha. Some of us after we have removed the devils baadhi yetu baada ya kufukuza mbali mapepo and made declarations na kufanya matangazo ya kiroho some of us they don't know what next baadhi yetu hatujui nini linakufuatia but faith gives you the confidence to begin something new lakini imani inakupatia ujasiri wa kuanza jambo jipya some of you you should be thinking what to do with your families baadhi yenu mnapaswa kuwa mkifikiria nini cha kufanya after the prayers we did on sunday baada ya kufanya maombi siku ya sabato some of you you should be thinking what to do with your business yenye mnapaswa kuwa mnafikiria nini cha kufanya na biashara. What we did on Sunday. Baada ya kufanya tulichofanya na mapili. Some of you need to know what you need to do with your children. Baada yenu mnapaswa kuwa mkifikiria nini cha kufanya na watoto wenu. Your spouse. Na wale watu wenu wa kibi. Your business. Wake zenu na ume zenu biashara zenu. Faith gives us sense of direction and ba, kwa sababu imani inatupatia ile hali ya kuwa na mwelekeo When na lengo. When you have faith you are not confused. Ukiwa na imani haujachanganyikiwa. Amen. Some of us because faith faith tells you you may not have the money. Imani. But this is what you want to do. Imani inakuambia unaweza kuwa hauna pesa lakini hichi ndicho unapaswa kufanya. One of the things that the Lord taught me last year. Moja wapo ya mambo Mungu alinifunza mwaka uliopita. Is that you will talk about faith faith until you are dead? Ni kwamba utanena kuhusu imani hadi ufe. If you don't take a step of faith and action something. Usipochukua hatua ya imani na utfanye jambo. If you are trusting God for something. Kama unaaminia Mungu jambo There kwa. has to be an action to that effect. Lazima kuwe na tendo that which you want to receive from the Lord. Kuelekea kile unataka kupokea kwa Mungu. That is what provokes the miracle. Na hiyo ndio inachokoza baraka. God is waiting you to take the step. Mungu anangojea uchukue hatua. Remember kumbuka our God is desiring to see your power of attention Mungu wetu anatamani kuona nguvu za umakinifu wako When you show him you are hearing what he say 
ukionyesha kwamba unasikiza atakupatia maelekezo blessed be the name of Jesus if you want to open a business ukitaka kuanzisha biashara want to see you with the name of the business mungu anataka kuone na jina la biashara that business by faith andikisha hiyo biashara kwa imani for that business premise by faith tafuta mahali pa kufanyia hiyo biashara if you are looking for a spouse na kama unatafuta mtu prepare yourself to be a husband and to be a wife Jiandae kuwa mume na kuwa mke. Don't just look for Mr. Right and Miss Right. Usitafute tu malaika. Prepare yourself to be Miss Right. Jiandae kuwa mtu ambaye amekamilika na jamaa ambaye amekamilika. And you will see the person. Na utaona mtu akitokelezea. If you are trusting God. Kama unaaminia Mungu. For an open door. Kwa mlango ulio wazi. Stand on your feet. Simama kwa bibi yako. Do something in regard to that. Show the Lord you are ready to do. Onyesha Mungu kwa tayari give it to you ataipeana kwako jina la bwana libarikiwe because faith gives a sense of purpose kwa sababu imani inatupatia malengo na mwelekeo katika maisha number 3 jambo la tatu faith faith lessens negativity in our lives imani hupunguza ukinyume katika maisha yetu Some of us we always see things from the perspective of negative. Baadhi yetu tunaangalia mambo kwa mtazamo wa kinyume. I don't know whether you have ever seen people who will never see anything good in people in something. They will always be very keen to note what is not working right. Sijui kama ushakutana na watu ambao hakuna kitu kizuri wanaona katika mtu katika maisha kwa jambo lolote. Hakuna. I'm allergic to such people. Mimi pia. How many allergic to such people? Aha. Yani they always see the negative. Kila wakati wanaonanga kitu When they see me talk to Susan. Wakiona nikiongea na Susan. They only imagine we are talking about them. Wanakisia tu naongea kwa. When they Susan. see me talking to Judy. Wakiona nimekaa na They Judy. always think we are gossiping. Wanafikiria tu nasikia. When they see me walking with Stella. Wakiona nikitembea na Stella. They just Stella. imagine the negative. Wanafikiria tu they kinyume. They never imagine there is something good we can talk. Hawatawahi fikiria makuazia kuna kitu kizuri tunaweza ongea. They imani negativity upungua upunguza hiyo hali you see such a person ukiona mtu kama yule they need faith wanahitaji imani pray for them waombe sana so that they can have the revelation of faith ili wawe na ufunuo wa imani because faith lessens negativity kwa sababu imani inapungua inapunguza ukinyume you ukinyume. don't see what is not working hauoni kile ambacho akifanyi kazi even when somebody is making a mistake hata wakati mtu anafanya makosa you see what good can come out of them angalau utaona kile kizuri kinaweza kutoka pale and i believe that is what god does na ninaamini hivyo ndivyo mungu hufanya because from genesis to revelation kwa sababu tokea mwanzo hadi ufunuo god uses the weak vessels mungu wetu hutumia vyombo vya mwanzo Name. ili kutukuza jina lake. He used Abraham when he had no children. Alitumia Abraham wakati alikuwa hana mtoto. To build faith. Ili kujenga imani yake. He came and used Jacob. Alimtumia Yakobo. As a con man. Akiwa mtapeli. But made him a redeemer for the children of Israel. Akampanya mkombozi wa wana wa Israel. God will always use the weak. Mungu atatumia vyombo dhaifu. To show his mighty and strength. Kuonyesha uwezo wake na nguvu zake. Forget about those who are seeing the negativity. Sahau wanaona ukini and move forward with those who can see na wale ambao wanaweza kuona yaliyo bora ama i'm the only one who see those kind of people ama ni sisi tu tunakutanana na watu wa aina hiyo hata wewe yani that person when they see you they only see the negative that can come out of you yani mtu yule akikutazama tu anaona kinyume anaona mwanguko anaona hauwezi May the Lord strip up those people our way. Mungu atupue. May the Lord remove Bani. them out of our life. Awatoe With a powerful yetu. anointing. Kwa upako mkubwa. Because let me tell you the truth, not because people don't want to try things. Si kwa sababu watu hawataki kujaribu mambo. But we are surrounded with people who are full of negativity. Lakini tumezungukwa na watu wenye dawa na kinyume. People will kinyume. look at us. Watu watatazama. And they don't see anything good. Na hawaoni chochote kizuri kwetu. But thank God our God sees the strength that lakini ashukuriwe mungu anayeona uwezo there is nobody who is perfect let nobody lie to you mtu asikudanganya hakuna mtu amekamilika but our god capitalizes on the on the positive lakini mungu wetu anajenga kwa ile hali ambayo even in your dreams for the year 2024 hata kwa ndoto zako za mwaka 2024 capitalize on the negative usiangalie tu kwa kazi capitalize on what is able to be done 
angazia kile kinachowezekana kae mbali na wewe amen 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 and the last thing jambo la mwisho faith awakens a sense of spirituality within us imani huamsha hali ya maisha ya kiroho ndani yetu your spiritual life will be as life as the level of your faith Maisha yako ya kiroho itapata uhai kulingana na kiwango cha imani yako. Your level of faith will determine your level of spirituality. Kiwango chako cha imani ndicho kitakachoamua kiwango chako cha kiroho. And if God is going to awaken our spiritual lives as a church. Na kama Mungu ataamsha maisha yetu ya kiroho kama kanisa. We must make a choice to grow our faith. Lazima tufanye chaguo ya kukuza imani yetu. We must grow our faith to the next level. Lazima tukuze imani. We must grow our confidence in the word of God. Lazima tu kuze ujasiri kwa neno la Mungu. We pray the word of God. Tuombe neno la Mungu. We sing the word of God. Tuimbe neno la Mungu. We elevate the word of God. Tupanue neno la Mungu. We study the word of God. Tusome neno la Mungu. We meditate the word of God. Tutafakari neno la Mungu. Until the word becomes. Paka neno lifanyike. Write the scriptures everywhere in your house. Andika maandiko ya neno la Mungu kwa nyumba yako kila mahali. Even when you are in the washroom you are there waiting you wait as you read the scripture on the door of your washroom Hata ukiwa pale hey. unangojea unaandika maandiko kwenye mlango As you mlango. cook in the kitchen have the word of God speaking Unapopika pale jikoni unakuwa na neno la Mungu Yes you sit in the sitting room have the word speaking to you Kuwa na neno linakuongelesha In the bedroom of your children Katika chumba cha kula watoto wako Kuwa na maandiko pale Hey, hey. Some scriptures. Niliona wakati mwingine wanasoma maandiko. Elder Tyrus. Elder Tyrus. Tai inasema Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Tai imeandikwa maneno mengi. Rejoice in the Lord and I say again rejoice. Furahia katika Bwana na tena nasema furahia. So when you feel like not rejoicing your tai reminds you. Kwa hivyo rejoice in the Lord and I say again rejoice. Wakati unahisi hauna furaha tai yako inakuongelesha na kuambia furahia katika Bwana tena nasema furahia. For the ladies instead of having hearing saying my hearing is my fashion and my fashion my choice have an hearing saying jesus is lord yes kwa kina dada wetu badala ya kuwa na vipuli ambavyo vinasema kipuli changu mtindo wangu kuwa na kipuli ambacho kinasema kipuli changu neno la mungu our spirituality maisha yetu ya kiroho our spirituality maisha yetu ya kiroho it is equal to the level of faith ni sawa sawana na kiwango cha imani yetu i don't know how many want their faith to go to the next level wangapi wanataka imani yao ipande kiwango kingine when we raise our faith tunapoinua imani yetu we believe god even when we don't see what we are believing tunaamini mungu hata bila kuona tunachoamini we praise god even when it is not convenient for us to praise ifu Mungu hata wakati hali hairuhusu We give to the kingdom even when it is not convenient Tunapeana kwa ufalme hata wakati jamani haipendezi We trust God even when it doesn't make sense Tunamwamini Mungu hata wakati haina maana Blessed be the name of Jesus. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe I want us to rise on our feet Napenda tuinuke kwa miguu yetu And this is a message that i would all of us desire that we answer this altar call na huu ni ujumbe ambao ningetamani sote tuzidi kwa is watching us online hata wale ambao wanataka sana tell god we say we are believers na tuambie mungu tunasema ndio sasa ni for sure we are grieved that we are limited in our faith lakini kwa uhakika tumejua ya kwamba we desire to grow to the next level tunatamani kuwa kiwango kingine we desire to see god in our life tunatamani kuona mungu kwa maisha we desire to walk by faith tamani kutembea kwa we imani. desire to exercise our faith tunatamani kufanyisha kazi in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu i want you to lift up your hands before the lord and for one bwana. minute i want you to tell god na kwa dakika moja mwambie bwana my unbelief saidia kutoamini kwa mungu god huu. from today ya kwamba kuanzia leo i will be a woman of faith nitakuwa mama wa imani i will be a man of faith nitakuwa ndugu wa imani i will believe in you god nitaamini kwako mungu 
you. Trust upon you, God. I will wait upon you, God. I will keep myself to hearing and hearing your word so that my faith can grow to birth of the miracles that I'm waiting in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know as you pray to God your level of faith will determine the level of miracles. Your level of faith will determine your visitation in the name of Jesus. Remember Jesus is miracle. Wherever he went and did the level of faith of the people he met determined the level of the miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to hear you speak to the Lord and tell him help my faith Lord. Help my faith Lord. Help my faith in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Satala <laughs> I want us to lift our hands before the Lord as a sign of surrender that Lord we acknowledge we have failed in our faith and that you are the only help for us you are the only help for us you are the only help for us Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Baba, kwa jina kula yesu. we come to you this afternoon. Kwa we leo. acknowledge your word that has spoken to us. Neno lako that paid for miracles ya imani ya need to be activated in our lives. It kwa is the level of faith in our lives that will determine the miracles that we will receive. And today we acknowledge the faith through Christ Jesus that we are able to receive in his presence this afternoon. Help our faith and our Father that we will believe in the word of God. That we will believe in the power of our God. That we will believe in what our God can do. And that our situations will not weaken our faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I declare in the name of Jesus, let the sick be healed in our midst. Let those who are trusting you for open doors, may the doors be open for them. Those who are trusting you for financial breakthrough, we declare it in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are trusting you, God, that you may make a way for them. We believe together with them in the mighty name of Jesus. For we pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. And all of us we say, all of us we say, come on, give Jesus a hand clap of praise. A hand clap of praise. May the Lord help us to have faith to have faith in what we are believing. And and those who are watching us online, may the Lord help your faith as he helps my faith. May we hear testimonies of what you believe the Lord and he came through for you because he's committed to give us visible signs and manifestations in the mighty name of Jesus. See you on Sunday in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. And for us who are in the service today, may your week be blessed.